Hi, I'm Roma. And I'm Katie. And we are the author and illustrator of the new book, How Was That Built? We've created some films which include some drawing exercises and demonstrations to give you secret insights into what's in the book. The first film we've created is to tell you all about the shard and triangles. first demonstration that I wanted to show you today was about columns. So if you've got some card at home, um, I've got a few different coloured bits of card here and what I'm going to do is use this very lovely rainbow tape to create some cylinders which are going to represent our columns. So if you break off a few pieces of tape, um, we are going to roll up the card and I'm going to make one really narrow column and one slightly bigger one. So if you roll one up nice and tight, make it nice and even at the top, and then you can use your lovely tape to stick it all up together. So you've got a nice rainbow column. And then I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to make a slightly different shape which is going to be a bit wider. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some weight onto these columns and see how they respond to it. So here's a nice fat column that's, I think, going to be stronger. But tell me what you think. Tell me whether you think the skinnier column or the thicker column is going to be the winner in this challenge. So let's start off with the red one. And I'm going to stick a copy of our book on top. And you can see that's how a column works. So the weight of this book is basically channeling itself down into this um, cylinder or this column. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean on this a bit and see what happens. <coughs> and collapse. So what we can see here is that the column has crushed down right? And that is one way that columns can actually fail. So there's one dead column. And if we try the same experiment again, but this time with the slightly skinnier yellow one, let's see what happens now. Okay, so I'm going to put it on here. It's holding it up, so it's still pretty strong. And now when I push down, oh, it's pretty strong, this one. I actually can't get it to break. Oh, that one just fell out. But so what happens is that this column has actually bent. So these are the two different ways in which columns can actually fail. One is to get crushed down, and the second one is that it bends. So there you go. If you want to crush some columns at home, this is how you can do it. Another demonstration that I have for you today is to show you the difference between triangles and rectangles and tell you why it is that structural engineers like me really like working with triangles. So what I want you to do is get a pair of scissors and some lovely card and I chose blue because you know the shard is kind of blue with all this lovely glass and I'm going to cut little strips of paper. So I've, I've prepared some up here already but I'm going to cut one to show you how to do it. So I've got a little strip of paper and then I'm going to use a hole punch and I'm going to put it right down the center here and create a little hole at the ends of these bits of paper. Now I've got an array of different shapes. The first thing I'm going to make is a rectangle. What I've got here are little split pins and they're pretty, they've got little gems on them so they're shiny. But what you could do the now is to basically hold these different bits of paper together, line up the holes so you can see through them, and then you're going to put the pin through the holes and you're going to separate its legs so that it forms a little kind of hinge, okay? And we're going to do that around all four corners.
So that is my lovely rectangular building. And I'm going to do the same thing to create a triangle just like the shard. Here you go, here's the shard. So now think about two little skyscrapers like this. And one of the forces that really affects skyscrapers is wind. Okay, so if you imagine a force that's coming in sideways against this building, what happens when this building is pushed sideways? So if you hold the little corners of your skyscraper, what you can see what happens is that it starts to deform and it goes out of shape, right? If it's a rectangle, it's got these corners and basically it goes really, really out of shape and deforms like that, okay? However, if I now try the same thing with a triangle, so if you hold the base on one end, and if you try pulling on the side here, you actually can't deform the shape. The shape stays really nice and stable. And this is why structural engineers love triangles. <laughs> In these drawing demos, you're going to learn that lots of the world's most famous buildings are based on very basic shapes, and that we can use these shapes to figure out how to do really cool drawings of them. Give it a go and see how you get on. The first building we're going to try and draw is the shard. This may look a little bit tricky, but hopefully you'll find that it's actually quite simple. We're going to start by drawing a very tall and thin triangle. You're then going to rub the top of the triangle out and draw two lines from the ends that are left. One of the lines will go straight to the bottom line of the triangle and the other one will go down till it joins the line you've just drawn. The next step is to add to it by drawing more fragments or sections into that triangle shape because that's the idea of the shard is that it looks like lots of pieces of glass forming a pyramid shape. If you look at pictures of the shard you'll also see that all these different sections don't meet perfectly at the top so maybe try and make sure you have a go at doing that at the top of the triangle. And there you have it your very basic shape and outline of the shard. The next step is to add shading into your drawing. Because the idea of the shard is that it looks like lots of pieces of glass, this shading is really important to make the lighter areas look really reflective. Then in the other sections, I'm going to draw lines to give a sense of the windows and panels of glass on the building. Some of those lines will be closer together to give a sense of it being darker and then some of the lines will be lighter or further away from each other to give a sense of it being lighter. See here how I'm drawing these lines really faintly? This will make this area look a bit lighter than the area I've just drawn on. You can also add other sections into the ones that you've already drawn. Because the shard is clad in glass, it looks quite abstract and so it sort of looks different from every angle and perspective you look at. That way, if you've got the basic shape of it, it doesn't really matter what sections you draw into it. It will all look really cool and it will still look like the shard. You can do some cross hatching in some sections or maybe color in some of the little squares that you've drawn to give the sense of them being windows. All of this will add really interesting details and make it look even more like the shard. And there you have it, your finished drawing of the shard. And all of that started by drawing a very basic triangle. Give it a go and see how you get on. 
So I really loved working on the Shard. I actually spent six years of my career working on the design of that building. And I really enjoyed figuring out how the building was made out of such basic shapes and creating that demonstration for you. So both of us hope that you really enjoyed that film and we hope that you will go away and try it for yourselves at home.